Good day and welcome to another edition of Our Tyler Genie, where we have racing from Kenilworth today, the 22nd of August. Um, for the sake of the persons who are watching this preview for the first time, I just would like to tell you more about Outside of Genie. Outside of Genie is not a tipster. Um, we offer a service where we do a analysis of the form, and then through that analysis, we then provide you, the punter, with outside the selections that you can include in whatever play you do, because not every punter has got the same preferences. Some like the PA, some like the pick sixes, some like jackpots, some like quartets, swinger, exactly. So you take whatever selections, you take our selections and add them into your selections in order for you to get the, to get the bigger payout. So if you want to receive this uh, daily video, uh, you can click on the button and subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and you'll be notified every time that we post the daily preview. We are also on um, social media, Twitter, Instagram, and they are our, if you want to contact us, 83 Just quickly, look at some of the results from the past week so far. At Turfontaine, we had a nice day um, on the 20th of August. We tipped you a feather in the knees, which was a 60 to 1 shot. Now, just quickly want to clarify what's the difference between an outsider selection and an outright selection. What we do is we offer you an outright selection. That is our first selection. That is the horse that we think has got the best chance to win the race. We are not always correct. I mean, there's no one in South Africa that can give you nine winners a day because then we would have all been millionaires. But then we give you an outsider selection. And that is the two outsiders. We give you two selections. And that is the outsider selection that we think in that particular race has got the best chance of either finishing in the places or even win the race. So um, then we have number five, Way of the World, which was an outright selection at five to one. We had the Ready Set Low, which was an outside selection at nine to two. And then in the last race, yeah, yeah, you know, sometimes um, I don't understand how bookmakers price up because if in that race, creation um, did beat, uh, far and away previous, in a previous run. And even on the weight turnarounds, he still had the beating of the favorite far and away, which the bookmakers priced up at even money. And this horse creation was open betting 14 to 1 and jumped at the price of 11 to 1. And he, he did beat var and away again. So sometimes you have to be aware of the price from the price of the bookmakers. I don't know if they deliberately mislead people to follow the favorites. I'm not sure, but sometimes I can just shake my head and disbelieve on the prices that they price up with. Now, we're nearly in Gold Cup Day. It's only a few days away. Next Saturday, this, 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 this time, we would be all be waiting in, in anticipation for the Gold Cup. Now, we have now a, a range of peers straight on, and I think this will probably happen on Wednesday, I would think. Um, I just need to check with him his timetable. We did a preview on the July, and we did very well, and he agreed to do one with the, for the Gold Cup Day. But the difference being this time is that Pierre is having a few rides on Gold Cup Day, which he didn't have on July Day. And then we just remind you that we, we gave you, outside of Janie, Jeannie gave you five very well-priced winners on the day, and we're going to try and repeat that feat on Gold Cup Day. As of the, of the July day, we will do a separate video preview of the six uh, pick six races. But that will only to be for members who subscribe to our daily analysis services, either on a monthly basis or specifically for the Gold Cup meeting. For that purpose, we have put together a few special offers where you will then get our form daily form analysis. I will show you now what that entails. Package one from 1 September to 31st of December. Our normal cost is 500 Rand a month, so that would have cost you 2,000 Rand. So we offer you our long term package now at 1,200 Rand, which is 300 Rand per month. Then we have you sign up now um, and get selections from now till end of September for 400 Rand. Package free sign up just for a Gold Cup weekend. That will cost you 28 uh, from, uh, that will cost you. 150, but that will also include the Friday and the Saturday racing. 
Then you can sign up till the end of August now for 200 Rand. So that will be this week and everything on the weekend for 200 Rand. And then we've got a weekend package. Uh, as one weekend is passed, then uh, the price now will be 70 Rand, not 105 Rand. And you can have WhatsApp us on that number, 0835 to arrange your package. Now, if you want to, if you subscribe to our daily form analysis, you get a race by race selection, outside winner and two possible outside selections, value bets normally six to one, which you can play each way. Best bet of the day, we try to give value best bets, not but no odds on the odds on you can find yourself, but to find the longer price best bet you need outside of Jenny. We also give you suggested trifectas and quartet selections, and sometimes when they do arrive, they pay handsomely. Uh, two weeks ago, we had one at, at Val paying 15,000. Early in the week, we had one that paid nearly 6,000 rand. And we also give you affordable PA and pick sixes, which you can play as is, or you can take some of those numbers, add them to that. Uh, one of my members did do it early in the week. Uh, I think it was at the Val race meeting, and he got, uh, he did quote the pick six full, 100%. So if you do subscribe, this is how you will receive your daily analysis all nicely, all on one page, which you can just print out and take if you want to replay from the tote, you can take it with you or even at home, print it out and you've got everything at hand. So that is then our information. Now let's go to the to the racing side. We will be racing from Kenilworth. Um, now. Um, guys, I'm not sure about the going because I'm making this video early in the morning. So just you need to check the going. But I would think that the going would be on the soft side, seeing that the, the race was racing this this earlier this week was cancelled. But I, I did listen to the weather report and it say it's going to be a sunny day in Cape Town today. Now the first two races are newly turned three-year-olds. Um, now I've got a policy. You know, I do a form analysis, and there's no form. I can't do analysis. So on the first two races today, I'm not doing any analysis as there is a lack of form. There are horses who have some runs, but there are also a lot of first timers. So therefore it's impossible to make an uh, informed decision. But let's have a look at the betting. Race one, number 11, Gainsford, 15 to 10, Mr. Frosty, four to one, 11 to two, ticket to right, Tracker Jack, 30 to two, eight to one, Red Lock, March 4, 16 to 1, words with 25 to 1, and the 25 to 1, and better the rest. I just want to say, I, I see that Gainsford is coming back from Joburg, uh, from Natal, where they had some decent races. So, um, yeah, most probably the horse that might go in, but you never know about the first timers. Then you have number race number two, Stuck on You. He has run quite a few places, battling to find the first. First box, but stuck on you five to two. Perfect Princess four to one. Arctic Eyes five to one. Chat Ching um, eight to one. Tallahassee eight to one. Casa Rosalda twelve to one. Autumn Sky eighteen to one. Chili Jam eighteen to one. Twenty to one. And longer the rest. All I can say is I see that War Marshal has got a lot of horses now back from Durban, and my past experience has uh, 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 shown me that. When he brings his horses back from Durban, they normally run quite good races in Cape Town because they are fit. So watch out for the Vaughan Marshall horses today. So let's move on to race number three, where the betting is as follows. Swazi Queen, 18 to 10, twice the quality, 18 to 10. Ruby Rhythm, 6 to 1, 8 to 1, Scented Miss, 10 to 1, Gate 69, 16 to 1, Rain Keeps Falling, and Garua Winter, 28 to 1, and longer the rest. So let's have a look at race number three. Um, race number three. Um, <clears throat> yeah, here we have number one. Rain keeps on falling. Uh, sorry, rain keeps falling. It's a soft falling rain. So maybe because if it's a soft, might be a good uh, horse to follow. It is getting the minus four, which give it a, a, a edge over the newly turned three-year-olds in this race. And um, yeah, the this was now only carrying 56. Now over um, this distance of 1600 meters, it can make a difference. Um, you know, you still got these young horses and they're still maturing and it's also drawn five. So I think this is a serious contender. Number one, rain keeps falling. Tivoli Gardens has shown us um, some 
promising races last time out, uh, fading behind Miss Mostream. But I do think this horse by Flower Alley out of National Assembly would be more suited to be to the longer distance. Did try the 1600 before, but faded and tired, but now drawn free and um, might be a little bit fitter. Maybe one to include in the back end of your quartets. Um, here's a first time I'm giving the green light. Glacier Express by Western Winter, Winter, Western Winter. I don't know, that name sounds familiar to me, but I see Ashby is riding the horse. Uh, so maybe chuck into the back end of your quartets. Here we have my personal favorite to win this race. And this is number five, Ruby Rhythm. Last time I ran on very well behind What a Jewel, 23.9 late run. In, um, and it is now had a few runs since the rest. And I believe that the 1600 meters will suit this horse. Ruby Rhythm and Bernard Fane were up on board. I think this horse will go close in winning this race. Also, I like the chances of number six, gate 69. Last time out, I did gave it as a, one of my outsider selections, and I'm going to do the same. There's also by Futura, by Air Force, or Royal Air Force, Robert Carty on board, draw seven. And I think this, this horse would even be better suited to the 60 meters. But maybe if they don't take the horse to the front and give it time to settle and to run on, it will even run a more improved race. Career Winter, um, Greg Coxon. Um, yeah, this horse again over the 69 meter, also a future by Western Winter. And I'm sure that this horse will also be uh, finding the 1600 meters and even longer to its light, uh, liking. Greg Shane on board, serious jockey, drawn, drawn for includes in all your play can definitely uh, be uh, upset the capital card. The apple card, not a capital, the apple card. Yeah, and it's currently at 16 to 1. Ron Cotson, Glenn Cotson trained, you know, you never know with him. Yeah, and uh, yet, I just want to move on. Yes, uh, Vaughan Marshall horse, it's coming back. As I said, you need to watch this. Unfortunately, drawn a little bit wide at 10, but definitely a horse that to keep in mind when you do your calculations. Number 10, Swazi Queen did um, run some decent races. You know, nothing that I, that would make me run to the uh, uh, bookmaker to place a bet. But the has got the services of Aldo Dumeyer, drawn two. And yes, his old friend, yes, his friend drawn one right next to him, Grand Fnikak, on twice the quality. This horse also ran a super race on its debut on the Durbanville track, now on Kenilworth. Um, also a horse that can go in. All in all, not an easy race, not a type of race that you want to go wide on. Now, while I'm on that subject, I think the racing today is going to be very competitive in Kenilworth. There's no real standout bets like, a, you know, can say, yes, even money or a 9 to 10. There's a lot of horses, a lot of them got chances. Um, and here is an example of such a race. Here we got the four to 2,400 meters. Soccer room 3 to 1, this is race 4. 5 to 1, 2 to color. And uh, Anza allows you 11 to 2, 15 to 2, Winter Shadow, Silver De Lange, 17 to 2, Early Warrior, 8 to 1, Melora, 9 to 1, 14 to 1, and longer the rest. This is the type of field where you want to, in your pick six, want to include the field. But unfortunately, with this, some of the large fields today, larger fields, it is not going to be possible to do that. Uh, the, well, but depending on your uh, budget. Here yeah, I'm looking at number one, Silver De Lange. Now, um, Silver De Lange is a horse that hasn't won for nearly a thousand days. But lately I see there's a lot of horses coming out who hasn't won for a long time and winning their races. So maybe he finds himself in good company. Now, this horse, um, you know, if you have a look here, um, the, this horse is now running in a uh, C Division 78. But here this horse has run you know, earlier in his career. He ran behind It's My Turn uh, in a derby. Um, and, and at that stage, the average merit rating was 10 points down. So that would have been like a 99 if you take into account the 10 points that the merit rate that was um, raised um, in August uh, of, 29, uh, of 2019. So this horse has been running in good company, B division, C division. Here it ran in a D division behind Bolter Sazen after a race, coming out after a race again. Um, but I do feel that this horse is in with a chance. He, he has been showing some coming, he's coming back to form. Um, so I do believe that number one, Silver De Lange can be one of the horses 
involved in the finish. Then the other horse that I want to go down to is number seven, which is Winter Shadow. Now, Winter Shadow is a five-year-old gelding. Has I had 17 runs, three wins, and has, um, you know, over this distance, run four times, one twice. And, um, yeah, I definitely believe that Winter Shadow is in with a chance. has been running against some of these horses. Also, Ben Makuna, Makuna, Makina found itself in Durban, has beaten Silver de Lange, but on the white turnaround, he's much closer to Silver de Lange, uh, or Silver de Lange is much closer to him. Last time out of the race, I think he still needed to run, but that run on 22.6 headway. Um, so, uh, my, this is my first selection, is number um, seven, Winter Shadow. I want to go down to number 10, which is uh, Melora, Meliora. Uh, getting minus two and a half, only carrying 50. Um, last time out ran an approved race, but has also been running close up to, against, like behind Makurana and so on. And this definitely a, a, a horse uh, outside that you want to include into your play. As I said in this race, they are all horses with chances. Yes, the favorite, Sakaru, came this distance for the first time. Um, you know, but drawn 10, but on the longer distance, that's not such a big thing. Um, has been running well. Again, against Leicester opposition, um, yeah, at, we had we run against some better opposition and didn't fare too well. So uh, for me, not a confident uh, favourite, but can go in and must be included in your pick six. So that then completes, completes my assessment for race number four. Let's move on to race number five, which is a fairly severe 97 divided handicap, class B, 88 average merit rating. So let's have a look at the betting. As I said today, the, the, um, the, the, the some of the fields are very competitive. They're betting wide, four to one. The field seven, Vanda Spirit four to one, Pepe Lankos, four to one, Rolling the A nine to two, on Captain's side nine to two, Captain's Bar, Darling five to one, eleven to two, Hildegard, ten to one, Varsity Lover, and twenty to one, Dirt, Dirt, Dirty Nanny. So um, last time out, number. Um, one um, role in the day did show a return to form and duly won. And um, I think that um, this horse uh, can go in again. He's running again a similar, a similar field and did one well. And with Aldo de Mayer drawn free, uh, although it's down the straight, um, I do think that is the inside is a is always a, a more favorable position to be in and um, can go in again. Hildegard has been running well, but last time out uh, uh, fluffed the lines a little bit. And uh, but I'm, I'm I'm thinking we'll be running against a, a bit, a, you know, a, a better race today because um, that run was, you know, she only finished favourite. Um, she only um, faded over the 1,200 metres, and now being a thousand metres can be involved in the finish. So a nice outsider. Then um, I want to move down to. Number four, uh, Captain's Darling did um, run well last time out, also behind Roland Day, but still on the way turned around. Roland of the Hill still have the beating, but run for the cat now riding from draw one. So definitely um, take a note of that. And the horse was carrying a half kilogram overweight, so it can go in again. I'm just looking for. Um, I want to talk about nine, nine uh, about seven band of spirit. Now, and this was last run on the first of August. I did tip this horse as my outside as my outright selection. So I said this horse was going to win the race. At the time, I uh, the opening betting on that horse was twenty five to one available at World Sports Betting. Although the horse was back in and over the twelve hundred meters ran on well and got up at. At, on the line, I do feel that the thousand meters might just be a little bit short for this horse. Um, although it has one over that distance when it was uh, in its earlier in his career, um, I do feel that um, this it's going to be too short. But do not leave this horse out. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she can, uh, you know, the jockey can get her up there and um, you know still win the race even if it's a thousand meters. So definitely a horse not to leave out of any of your calculations. 
So let's now move on to race number six, which is a Philly Samir's 80 divided handicap class C, average merit rate at 78. Here we have, come on. Number 10, four is a crowd, nine to two. 11 to 2, Windsor Beat, Captain's Flow, 11 to 2, Bad Habit, 16, 6 to 1, Alls Flaming Beauty, 7 to 1, Spirit Festival, 7 to 1, Sonic Burst, 8 to 1, Ikebana, 12 to 1, Dark Song, 20 to 1, and Longer the Rest. So let's have a look at race number 6. Now, race number 6, I want to go down to number 6. Now, guys, I am not one of those persons who really like to tip a horse. Um, who just won his maiden plate. But sometimes in life, there are exceptions to the rule. And I look at this and I and I watch this. Um, this horse, Sonic Burst, won so well in his maiden. It's a three-year-old. It can only improve, improve. And I think that number six, Sonic Burst, might go in again here, even against the older rivals. I know it's going to be tough. Um, and with that um, weight, I might be wrong. Um, yeah, you know, it, but this is horse racing. And I really has got just a feeling that this horse might come up here and, and win this race. Then um, also number seven, Windsor Beat. Um, has been running the end and the other bouts. Has been beaten by four the crowds, but coming back to four the crowd, being close up to uh, captains on side. And I'm sure as Windsor Beat today, He's going to run a very forward race, not a horse to exclude uh, in your calculations. And then here we have another free old, which I also got a lot of respect for. Captain's Flow did one its maiden over 900 meters, did the fluffy lines behind Eric the Reed. But after that, they has run some decent races. And I've, I've got a feeling Captain's Flow today will be there when, when the photos are taken. So also not a horse to leave out of your calculations. Yeah, there's many horses in this race with a chance. Um, yeah, I just want to say here, yeah, Nusa Princess uh, beat um, uh, 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 Sonic Burst. Sonic Burst came uh, back to win, uh, to win after that. But I'm sure this time uh, Sonic Burst has, has improved and will finish in front of this horse. Um, I just want to go back then. Yeah, here's the horse I'm looking for. This horse is getting minus four and has been running well. Um, yeah, so four is a crowd definitely in with a shout. Um, did run well after it, it changed stables from the Joey Ranston stable. Has now won three races for Glenn Potson. But I'm sure the handicapper is going to catch up with some other time. And today might be, might be the day. So that is then um, race number... Six, let's move on to race number seven. Which is a pinnacle stakes. Um, let's have a look at the betting first. So pinnacle stakes over 1200 meters, class A, average minute rating 92. Okay, here the betting. Again, here yeah, we're by betting four to one the field. Number one, elusive trader, four to one, green jacket, four to one, Sevilla seven and four to one, world 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 show oyster five to one, six to one, photocopy, Machiavelli ten to one, fourteen to one, and longer the rest. Now let's cut quickly. Um, I you know in pinnacle stakes, Asian stakes, no novice. I do take in account the best weighted horses in the race. And here we have number four, Helen's Deal, Elusive Trader, Machiavelli. Photocopy and Billy Silver. So, I really think that the horse to beat in this field today is this horse, Elusive Trader. Now, oh, come on. Oh, sometimes this PDF can irritate me. Everything will go well, and all of a sudden, you just have a problem scrolling up and down. All right. 
let's now finally get to Elusive Trader. Now, Elusive Trader is one of those horses that has run a, against the best in the, in the country. Um, as you see that the average merit rating list race is a 92. This horse is running 104, although beaten six leagues by Russet A. Russet A is no slouch. Fabian, here we got Fabian. Fabian has won another, has won a race, Mushy Streak. Not a donkey. Here we got Russell Irrigate. Casimir, one of the best sprinters in the company. Run Fox Run, I think it's five races unbeaten. And also Sevilla, on the way turnaround, Sevilla can't beat the loser trader again this time. So I think all in all, to my mind, I would think, and at four to one, my best bet, my best bet of the day, of the day, elusive trader, uh, four to one, help yourself. Yeah, then there is other horses with chances in the race. Let's have a look at them. I want to look at number five, photocopy. Photocopy is also one of those horses. It's getting the minus four, which will definitely benefit him. Has also run against the similar horses than uh, number uh, number one. I used to play Russian A Fabian, um, but I just think doesn't have quite the same ability as number one elusive trader. But although they're running in the same uh, uh, ownership. Um, I think, um, but number five photocopy, definitely a contender in this race. Green Jacket also um, is there and thereabouts all the time, running good races, so definitely also in with a shout. Uh, I just want to go down to another horse here. Number eight, World Your Oyster. This horse has run five runs, three wins, you know, came out on its first race at 50 to one and duly won and followed that up beating Sevilla um, in a second race as well at 8-1. to one. Um, That fluff is lying behind captain, Captain's Finders, but now uh, has found his feet again, and I'm sure will be involved in the finish. All right, so that would be my thing for race 7. Let's move down to race number 8. Let's have a look at the betting for race number eight. Here we have number one, Icon of Bronze, 72. Gimme, 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 72. Star of Silver, 4 to 1. Secret Depths, 5 to 1. Crusades Promise, 11 to 2. Midnight Moon, 8 to 1. 8 to 1. 8 to 1. Springs in the air. Mayfair, 22. And Favor Me, 50 to 1. So let's have a look here at the field. You know, this is what I can't understand from technology. Everything will go fine. And then all of a sudden, you'll just battle to get everything in place. It really irritates me. Now we're back at the loose of trade again. Let me just sorry, I really apologize profusely for this. Um, I've tried many things, but it just seemed always to be a problem. I've tried many things. Okay. Now, number one, Icon Express, um, Princess is the favorite. You know, going over uh, 1400 uh, for, the f um, for the first time, I think, has gone over the 1600 meters, but hasn't shown much. So I'm not so sure whether this always can do this distance. This horse likes to go to the front, and um, yeah, I'm not sure whether this uh, distance is going to suit this horse, well, but time will tell. My fancy for this race is number is number six. Let me just get down to number six. Uh, my goodness, Crusade. Okay, gimme, gimme. Now, gimme, gimme is from the Bass Robertson stable, Greg Saint riding. And this horse has run some very good races um, uh, lately. And um, I do feel that um, it's been running on well. Look here, second fastest 400, second fastest 400. 
uh, always just having to get their late run. But I think today is going to be the day that Gimme Gimme is going to find the, 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 the number one box. The horse that can give her a lot of uh, cheek, I would think, is horse number five, Crusade's Promise. Has also been running against some strong opposition. And Crusade's Promise are, are definitely needs to be included in, um, in all your play. It's another horse, a, a, a martial horse, although this horse didn't go to Durban, but he's running well. Um, another horse that I wanted to look at is number three. And that is um, Secret Depths. Now, Secret Depths um, did one a few races ago, a few races back. And I do feel that uh, the, the distance might be a slightly short, hasn't won over this distance. So might be looking for, for, for uh, a longer distance. But as you can see, this horse runs on the end. And I believe when this will be one of the horses running on at the end. Um, yeah, so I said we are horses of chances in this race. Um, but I do believe that number five and six would be my choice. Now we get to the last race, race nine, which is a um, it's a Phyllis and Mayor 77 divided handicap class D, average minute rating 73. So let's have a look at the betting here. The betting years number six winters awakening 28 to 10, Chili winter 5 to 1, Waldorf Astura 5 to 1, Meet at the George 7 to 1, Rocket Gold 20 to 1, The Vote 20 to 1, and The Race 20 to 1 and longer. So let's have a look at this, uh, at this field. I do believe that I did found you here a nice roughy that you can include in every bit. I, I'm obviously not a certainty, but I do feel that you will have a run for your money. And that is number three. Rocket go. I was very surprised to find this horse at 20 to 1. Now, if you want to have a look, you'll see uh, in the previous race, I did say to you, I fancy gimme, gimme, gimme. Now, here we are. Uh, this horse just finished uh, three quarters of a length behind gimme, gimme. So if gimme, gimme runs well in the previous race, or Crusade Promise, which I also fancy, and this horse ran one length behind Cru Crusade Promise then you will know that this horse must have a very good chance and I can assure that the price will shorten. And as you have a look here, this, the, the average minute rating in this race is 73. It's a, a D73. Look here, race uh, uh, C82, ran one lane behind the winner. B84, 1.5. This Estimal, Estimal is no donkey. Wallace Simpson, not a donkey. Gimme, gimme. If this horse runs well in the previous race, that will enhance this horse's chances. This horse came off after a long break and only faded at the end. And it's a 20 to 1. And as I said before, sometimes I can't understand how the, they can price up. But help yourself to each way on this horse. You're going to have a run for your money. And I can believe that Rocket, Rocket Girl can actually even win this race. But as I said, you know, on 20 to 1, you don't, know, you don't have to go big. You can have 100 rand each way, a 50 rand each way. If the horse comes in, you still go leg. If the horse doesn't come in, you lost 100 bucks or so. Not the end of the world. The other horses that I do fancy in this race is number three, meet at the George. Um, this horse is Dean Kahnemeyer. It's a verse in Gatorich filly by Sadler Wells May. What a nice breeding. Um, and this horse hasn't had a lot of runs, but I believe last time out, this, I think this form behind our price jewel, you'll see in the previous race, there is horses running behind that form. So if they run well, then this will also um, uh, enhance meet at the at, at, at the meet at the George's chances. So all in all, I think this horse has got a really good chance drawn to definitely a horse not to leave out. Then I want to go down to number eight. Um, number eight. Jolly Josephine. Jolly this Josephine is uh, this horse that comes from from Kimberley for Corey Lensley. Has been running really some good races, but maybe that 1,400 meters will be a little bit short, but this horse will be running on at the end and definitely a horse not to leave out of your calculations. 
So there we go. We got get to the end of our um, preview. I hope you make a lot of money. And as I always say, break a leg.